Hey there, how are you doing? I hope you're well. I've been doing a little experiment just recently. You might have seen at the community paddling camp video that I did that I used a solar power panel and a solar power bank, uh, an electric generator if you like, to actually charge people's phones up and so on while we were at the event. When I got home, I thought I must be able to use this to save some electricity at home. And it's just made me look, especially with the cost of living energy crisis at the moment and electricity prices going through the roof, at how I could capitalize on some solar power to save some electricity at home. And I've been doing that ever since. This is what I've actually charged up ever since I started this. So I have used this solar panel setup to charge mobile phones, vapes, torches, my camera microphones, smartwatch, my camping lanterns and power banks, power banks, batteries in a battery charger and that means I haven't used mains electric to charge any of this. Now I don't know about you but I think that's pretty good. Now what did I use to charge all that up? Well I've got the 120 watt panel that's in my bedroom window. Now my bedroom is permanently blacked out because I have a projector in my bedroom that projects onto this wall behind me and that's what I uh, watch my Kindle fire programs on and you know fire stick programs on and so on and YouTube videos. Oh yeah, so I put that big 120 watt panel in the window and it just stays there permanently now. It also helps with the blacking out process too. In the other window, next to it at the front of the building, is something similar to this, right? These foldable panels. This one's one that I've had for a lot of years and the solar technology in it isn't great and it's probably about 15, 20 watts. But what I've got in the other window are two of these, two 30 watt solar chargers by Elicanter, Elicanter. I don't know, I'll let you decide that one. I'm not quite sure on how to pronounce that. And I've been using these to charge power banks and so on, and to do all the, the, the little bits and pieces that you saw. And then I use the other electric power generator. I've been using that to power my bedside light, charge my phones on the morning, and all sorts of other little bits and pieces. What I don't know in the long run is whether the cost of the equipment that I've bought is gonna be offset by the savings in electricity. But what I do know is, is in terms of that ongoing rolling bill, it's one of those every little bit helps, right? And even after this cost of living energy crisis subsides and we're in a bit better position, I'll still be able to capitalize on that. And I think that's pretty good. Now, what makes this particularly challenging for somebody like me is where I live, because my windows are not south facing and I get the bulk of the sun at the end of the day. So it's not like it starts to come round to this side of the building, so facing me actually, uh, round about midday, 11 o'clock, that kind of thing, and then it's here until sort of like the end of the day. What I have noticed though, is the panels do start charging pretty much as soon as the sun comes up, and that's because it's picking up on reflected UV light, but obviously it's not gonna be operating at capacity. But yeah, I've charged all this stuff up with solar panels that aren't operating at capacity because they're not in a position to operate at capacity and to truly capitalize from the sun. So I don't know, it's, it's about making the best with what you've got, isn't it? Doing the best with where you are, where you live and what access to sunlight you've got. And that's what I've done. I don't know how this is gonna pan out in the long run, but for me, it feels like I'm doing something worthwhile. And, and yes, there has been an initial expense and an outlay. I've been quite happy to spend that money because I had it floating and I thought, if it reduces the impact of my bills in the future and I don't get so much of a shock, that's gonna be a good thing, right? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments or if you've got any other ideas for what I could do with this. And if you've got any ideas that might help with the energy crisis, by all means, let me know those too. And please, if you would, share this video. Let other people know, let your friends know that they can actually do something, even if it's only a small thing, just to help save some electricity and reduce their bills a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. You take care of yourself. Cheerio.